God bless you and welcome to The Bible Says This. What say you, Psalms 33 verse 4, the A clause says, for the word of the Lord is right. I'm Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., your friendly neighborhood preacher man who is so excited about talking to you today. Yes, I am the preacher man. I got the Bible in my hand, spreading the word all over the land, helping my brother and my friend. I've got something for you. If you would only listen, you might learn a thing or two. Don't wear a collar around my neck at times. It doesn't seem harder. Look at this. That's for me to win your respect. I don't wear a black suit all the time. I got, I got to get next to you. So I'm the preacher man with the Bible in my hand, spreading the word throughout the land. These are words of a song written by a good friend of mine, the Bishop Rance Allen. As a matter of fact, when I first got saved, when I met the Lord back in 1977, one of the first songs that I heard uh, after I met Jesus and, and got into the, the church of God in Christ was uh, this song, uh, uh, Preacher Man with the Bible in my hand. And that was another song entitled, uh, I Can't See Myself. Uh, without Jesus in my life. Woke up this morning uh, seeing the bright sun sh sunshine. Said, thank you, Jesus. You're a friend of mine. Got to go out of here and make my day. Got to go to my job. Weekend, I'll get my pay. I can't see myself without Jesus in my life. No way, no way, no way. And who could forget if you've ever heard, to me, one of the greatest songs ever written, uh, entitled Cease Fire. Shots rang out. People shout. I'm hit, Lord, I'm hurt. Uh, another round has left the gun. Another battle has begun. Maybe it's all a bad, bad dream. Like an old movie on a worn out silver screen. Cease fire. That is my desire. Cease fire. That is my desire for the world. Oh, what powerful lyrics uh, performed by one of the greatest singers, uh, in my opinion, in the history of man, Bishop Rance Allen. And in talking about the bishop, you, you probably know where I'm headed. But before I go where I'm headed, I want to read something uh, to you. The Bible says this. And last time I checked, the Bible is still right. The Bible is still the word of God and that the Bible has not changed. The Bible says in Leviticus chapter 11, uh, verse 44 and down. I'm going to read 44 through 47. It says, for I am the Lord your God and you shall therefore sanctify yourselves and you shall be holy for I am holy. Neither shall you defile yourself with any manner of creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. For I am the Lord that brought you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God and you shall therefore be holy for I am holy. This is the law of the beasts and of the fowl and of every living thing that moveth in the waters and every creature that creepeth upon the earth to make a difference. That is to disjoin between unclean and clean and between uh, uh, the beasts uh, that you may be that may be eaten and the beast that may not be eaten. Bible teaches that we're to put a difference between holy and unholy, clean and unclean. Now, my friends, my friends, I want to talk to you today because uh, there are some things that are going on that uh, everybody's been talking about it. I hadn't, hadn't had a, a chance to weigh in on it. I've been uh, doing other things. And that is the latest um, uh, offering from uh, Calvin Burroughs, I believe that's his name, a.k.a. Uh, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg and Friends or Snoop Dogg and the, the Bishop Rance Allen uh, and, and the Clark Sisters and all of them 
uh, singing together. Now, before I talk about this and kind of delve into it, I want to first of all say that uh, th this one's a little, it's more personal to me because I have spent uh, a tremendous amount of time with uh, Bishop Rance Allen, uh, uh, First Lady uh, Karen Clark Sheard, and uh, uh, Chair Elect Lady, um, uh, and Evangelist and, and Supervisor um, uh, Dorinda Clark Cole. And I want to say that these are some of the finest people that I've ever met in my life. And, and the thing about it is, what has always moved me uh, about them is for their level of accomplishment and for their level of achievement. Um, if you ever get a chance to spend any time around them, you wouldn't know that they are who they are. You wouldn't know that they've accomplished what they've accomplished um, because they are so humble. They are so kind. They, they are so nice, so inviting. I've, I've watched from afar and I've seen them up close dealing with people. They take time with uh, whether you're elderly uh, or, or even a child. They, uh, you, you wouldn't know that they've uh, had the, the careers that they've had thus far. They are not, uh, from my personal experience, arrogant people, uh, very godly people, uh, very kind people. My wife and I had the privilege not too long ago uh, to ride with uh, uh, evangelist, uh, supervisor, uh, Dorinda, uh, Clark Cole and, and her husband, Brother Cole. You talk about some swell people. Uh, just, just, oh my, they, they made Pam and I uh, feel so, so at home. Uh, anytime I get a chance to spend time with Bishop Rance Allen, it is a joy and a privilege. The guy's just cool. And, and listen, you cannot, you cannot. If, if there's anyone who is any more lovable and, uh, and, and humble and, and, and more kind than, than, than First Lady uh, Karen Clark Shears. If there, there is, there may be, I just hadn't met him. Just a fantastic woman of God, uh, married to a gentleman whom I have such admiration and respect for. One of our general board bishops, the Bishop J. Drew Shears. He's an awesome man of God and a dear friend. I'll say this to you, Bishop Shears is your friend. You have a friend for life, just, just great, people. So uh, all I know about them personally, from personal experience, I, I just applaud them. Every time that they've been here at the upper room, they have knocked the ball out of the park. I have uh, a tape one, one night when, when the First Lady uh, Sheard was here singing, and I mean, she went off. Uh, uh, what I mean, whew, when she was finished, we could have we just closed out. That, that, it, it, there was nothing left to be done. And, uh, and just, uh, just last year for our, I think it was our shallow conference, one of our conferences, uh, uh, First Lady, uh, Supervisor, First Lady, uh, Supervisor uh, Dorinda Clark Cole was here. And you're talking about a consummate, anointed professional who was, who was just amazing. I have nothing but praise for their talent, for their careers, for their, their sheer ability to do what they do and to have done it for so long. Bishop Rance Allen, these people seem to be, they seem to defy time. If you play their old stuff and you listen to them today, they are as good today. I mean, years of preaching, years of traveling, years of ministering, years, 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 and the Lord have preserved their, their voices. I was listening today before I went on, before, before this taping uh, to the first song that I heard uh, by the, the, the Clark sisters and uh, it was, If You Believe in God. And uh, I've had my share of troubles, but in the midst of it all, I, I wouldn't let go of my God's hand. And it, I mean, they drive it, as a matter of fact, it's so powerful. Uh, if, they, if they performed it today, today it would wreck the house. The first time I heard it was uh, in the late uh, 70s when I first came to the Lord. And I hadn't heard anything like that before. And it was just, just amazing. Keep singing, keep preaching, keep living the life for Christ until he comes. And I'll tell you, uh, that kind of singing helped shape my biblical worldview and it strengthened my resolve to remain a Christian. Uh, uh, Bishop Rance Allen uh, just, just talked me into staying saved. 
uh, to just hear a man uh, sing like that and 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 uh, just the the the, the, vo the, the vocal uh, roller coaster. I mean, there's not a note that he can't hit, and uh, and I, I've never I've never seen him just not perform and, and not do a great job. And I, I guess that that is the reason why I'm uh, so uh, somewhat taken aback uh, and and disappointed uh, at a decision that was made. A decision. Uh, again, I have nothing but praise for their life. Uh, I consider them dear friends. I pray that we will still be after this. Uh, I would not come to you on this level and say anything negative about them personally for two reasons. Number one, it would be a classless and a cowardly uh, and a godless thing to do. And number two, I don't know anything to, to say except to applaud them for their faithfulness, for their, their genius, for their ability to stay on top this long. Do you realize that just the, the sheer number of, art audience, of artists who were the flavor of the month, who flamed out long ago, uh, uh, their, their careers came to an end or they died. And uh, before they were able to, to, you know, to carry on their careers and yet, uh, the Bishop Rance Allen, the, the Clark sisters, uh, they continue to, to uh, be at the top of the chart. Snoop Dogg called them uh, legends. I, I, I call them friends. I, I call them, uh, do I think that their career is legendary? I think it would be, uh, it would be uh, remiss of me uh, if I tried to describe it any other way. It is legendary. Um, I remember Bishop uh, Allen's I Belong to You put him on the national uh, level and just just so many so many hits uh, never been to heaven but if I could, yeah, what the song he sings uh, that that would be good enough for me I mean his rendition of it is unlike anyone else the, the, the guy's brilliant these are these are brilliant people as a matter of fact my wife Pamela and I uh, were at the inaugural for a mutual friend and we had the privilege to sit on the platform next to uh, Karen Clark Sheard, and you, you're talking about uh, uh, an honor, um, and she's so down to earth, so nice, so uh, polite, um, uh, quite engaging, and uh, such a, a beautiful lady. Uh, we, Pam and I, we were, we were uh, in awe to just spend time with them, and that night, uh, at, at that, that setting, um, uh, 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 Sister Dorinda, and her husband, they saw to it. They, as a matter of fact, they allowed us to ride with them. They took us back to the hotel. So I, I know these people, and uh, I just think that they are awesome, awesome in the faith. I, I, uh, I revere, again, Bishop Allen. Um, uh, he is a part of the College of Bishops. He is my brother in the bishopric. Uh, he's been a bishop longer than I have, so he probably could teach me a thing or two about bishoping. But with all of the things that we've said, and I want you to stay tuned, the reasons that I've just given are among the reasons, and along with the scripture, why I am so disappointed uh, at their decision uh, to, to perform with um, uh, Calvin, with, with better known as, as, as Snoop Dogg. Uh, uh, even when you read some of the things that are, that are said uh, as to, uh, uh, there's a story that was done uh, that I'll read some excerpts from uh, that Bishop Allen some uh, supposedly quotes from him. Uh, I, I think that uh, I, I do believe that uh, Jesus Christ is for everybody. I believe that Jesus died for Snoop Dogg just like Jesus died for you and me. I believe that everyone should be allowed to come to church. But I do believe this. I believe to stand and to sing and to be on the platform uh, and to be heard on that level, that should be earned. And I'll show you in the scripture, where when the apostle Paul gave his life to Jesus, for a while the disciples wouldn't touch him because they did not believe that he was saved based on his past. Now we're gonna talk about this. On the Bible says this, what say you?